Catch the car, Teddy! Caillou has made up a new game. He's rolling his toy cars down a ramp made out of a long board. <laughs> Rosie walks into the room pulling her toy ducky on a string. Can I play? Okay. He turns to his little sister and sees that she is wearing a t-shirt with teddy bears on it. No! That's my t-shirt! Take it off! It's mine! <laughs> Caillou is very upset. <laughs> Mommy comes when she hears the shouting. She tries to explain why Rosie is wearing Caillou's favorite t-shirt. Caillou, that t-shirt is too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie. Caillou is so angry, he is not listening to Mommy. It's not Rosie's, it's mine! Okay, okay. Rosie, let's go put on a different t-shirt. Caillou puts on his teddy bear t-shirt, but it's not easy. He has to wriggle and squirm like a caterpillar. Uh, ow! Oh. <laughs> See, it's not too small. Caillou marches around the room with his bare tummy showing. Rosie thinks <laughs> Caillou looks very funny. Maybe he's playing a new game. She runs up to her brother and tickles his tummy. Caillou knows that the t-shirt used to cover his tummy when he wore it. Caillou stretches out to play with his cars, but his back gets cold and the carpet makes him feel itchy. Caillou goes to his room. He doesn't want to play with the cars anymore. He is too sad to do anything but sit with Teddy. Why did the t-shirt have to get too small? Mommy comes in and sits down beside Caillou. She has a photo album that she opens. Here's a picture of you on your birthday. You look so cute and happy in your teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou looks at the picture and nods. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. Mommy understands why Caillou feels sad. Caillou, I'm sorry I gave your t-shirt to Rosie. I forgot how much you loved it, but now it's yours again. Even if you don't wear it, you can keep it as long as you want. Caillou still loves the t-shirt. It's so soft and cozy, but he knows he has grown too big to wear it. Caillou looks down at Teddy. Suddenly, he knows what to do. I'm going to give it to Teddy! Good idea, Caillou! <laughs> Caillou and Mommy both smile as Caillou takes off his favorite t-shirt and puts it on his teddy bear. Rosie comes into Caillou's room to find Mommy. Look who's wearing the t-shirt! <laughs> Teddy's happy! Me too! Caillou hugs his teddy bear in his teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou and Rosie are playing with Rosie's new toy. They are having lots of fun. Lots of noisy fun. Every time Rosie pushes a key, the toy makes an animal sound. Too much noise. Uh, 
Caillou and Rosie stop what they are doing. Caillou, I need to lie down. Can you be a good big brother and watch Rosie so she doesn't get into any mischief? Yes, Mommy. Mommy brings a couple of markers and two big pieces of paper. You and Rosie can draw pictures of the animals instead of listening to the sounds they make. I need you to play quietly so I can rest. Okay. Caillou wants to help Mommy. He wants to be a good big brother. Caillou hands Rosie a marker. We are going to draw now. Caillou starts drawing a giraffe. He works so hard on his picture that he doesn't notice that Rosie is not drawing beside him. Caillou looks around to see where Rosie went. Oh no! Rosie is drawing on the wall! Rosie, no! Caillou grabs the marker away from Rosie. Rosie tries to get the marker back, but Caillou holds on to it. Rosie starts to cry. Be quiet! Do you want Mommy to get mad? Mommy hears all the noise. Caillou, I asked you to be a good big brother and watch Rosie, not fight with her. Rosie needs her nap. I'll be right back. Caillou is surprised. Why is Mommy angry with him? He did his best to be quiet and to keep Rosie from doing anything wrong. He doesn't want to be Rosie's big brother anymore. <laughs> when Mommy comes back, Caillou is crying. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy go to the kitchen and fill a bucket with soap and water. It isn't easy being a big brother, is it? Can I help? That would be great, Caillou. Caillou cleans the wall with a wet cloth. He rubs hard until all the marks are gone. Good job, Caillou. Thank you. Rosie has finished her nap and she wants Caillou to play with her. Okay, Rosie. Becoming such a big boy, and you are such a good brother to Rosie. Today, Caillou and Grandpa were going to the park. Grandpa arrived at Caillou's house carrying a box. What's in the box, Grandpa? You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was so curious to know what was in the box. On the bus ride to the park, Caillou played a guessing game with Grandpa in order to find out. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? I know, it's a helicopter! <laughs> no, no, no. Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. They're having a race! I wish we had a... 
Oh, wow! A sailboat! I made it myself. Do you like it? Oh, yes! Does it really sail? Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. I'm steering it! That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? Let's get lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Emma was a friend of Caillou's from play school. Hi, Emma. Are you going to race too? Yes, my boat is the red one. And that boy over there has the blue boat. I bet we win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. But remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go! My boat is faster than your boat! No, it isn't! Come on! Caillou really wanted to win, so he made his boat go a little faster. Be careful, Caillou. Not too fast. We're winning! Faster! Faster! Oh, no! Caillou's boat ran into Emma's, and both boats tipped over. Oh! That's too bad, Caillou. Better luck next time. Caillou felt bad because he had lost, and he made Emma lose, too. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. It tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yes, it is fun. Let's go over and congratulate the winner. Well done on winning the race. You sailed so well. Thanks. You did well, too. Thanks. See you next time. Are you disappointed that you didn't win the race? I was a little, but I liked being Captain Caillou, even if I didn't win. Caillou and Daddy were playing with Caillou's favorite train set. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? Is it true some trains go underground? Yes, that's true. It's a special kind of train called a subway. Caillou was a little surprised. The subway must be really dark if it's underground. I'd love to ride the subway one day. That gave Daddy an idea. The next day, Daddy decided to take Caillou on a special expedition. Are we really going on a subway train? Yes, Caillou. We'll be two explorers. Caillou put on his special blue hat and backpack. I can't wait to be an explorer. What's in your backpack? Explorer stuff. Caillou and his daddy went into the subway station. A gust of wind blew daddy's hat off. <laughs> Oops! A good explorer should always hold on to his hat during a tornado. Hmm. Caillou wondered where all that wind was coming from. Daddy bought two tickets for the subway. Daddy, wait! I'm stuck! 
Daddy! Push hard, Caillou. Caillou pushed hard, and he got through. Well done, Caillou. You've passed the first obstacle on our expedition. Caillou and Daddy went to the escalator. We're going underground now. Are you ready? Caillou looked at the big hole leading underground. He really wasn't sure if he still wanted to be an explorer. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. There's nothing to be scared of. Down the escalator they went. Caillou held his daddy's hand very tightly. And here we are. But it's not dark at all. There were so many people, and there was even a man playing a guitar. Daddy looked at a huge map on the wall, full of colored lines. Then Caillou heard a noise, getting louder and louder and louder. What's that? You'll see. Lights appeared from the dark tunnel. It's the train! The subway train arrived with a big gust of wind, and the doors opened all by themselves. Hurry, Caillou. We have to get on before the doors close. Caillou was very impressed. Are they magic doors? Caillou looked around the busy train. We have to stand? Hold on tight, Caillou. The train took off and picked up speed. Caillou was holding the pole really tightly. He loved his ride on the subway. It's like a merry-go-round! Caillou Whee! watched as the lights whizzed by in the tunnel. We're almost there. Caillou was sad that the ride would be over soon. Caillou and Daddy walked around the park. They stopped on a park bench nearby to have a snack. It's much quieter here than on the subway. Caillou took two cookies from his backpack. One for you and one for me. You're an explorer that thinks of everything. I brought my flashlight and my teddy, too. The explorers went back to the subway station. Watch out for the tornado! Caillou went into the station holding his hat, pushed his way through the turnstile without getting stuck, and rode down the escalator into the ground without being scared at all. Once he was on the subway, Caillou, the great explorer, fell asleep on his daddy's lap. Caillou and his family were enjoying a spaghetti dinner. Yum! Spaghetti is my favorite! That's good, Caillou. Please try not to slurp when you eat. It was very hard to eat the spaghetti without slurping. While Caillou was trying not to slurp, he made a strange noise. Uh-oh. Sounds like you've got the hiccups. The hiccups? How do I stop them? Hiccups usually go away on their own. Caillou waited a moment to see if his hiccups disappeared. Hey! I waited, but they didn't go away! You have to wait longer than that. Why not play in the living room? Caillou built a tower of blocks while he waited for his hiccups to go away. But one was so big it made him knock over his tower. How's it going out here? These hiccups are messing up everything! I need them to go away! Sometimes hiccups can be cured by giving someone a scare. A scare? Just a little scare. It makes the person gasp, and the hiccups go away. Do you want to give it a try? Caillou thought about this for a moment. He didn't like to be scared, but he didn't like having hiccups even more. If it'll make the hiccups go away, then... Okay! Yeah. 
Mommy spread her arms out and floated like a ghost and then jumped at Caillou. Boo! Ah! Hey! It worked! Aw, oh, it's not working. I don't think my hiccups are the kind that get scared away. Good thing I'm here then. I'm the world's number one all-time hiccup cure champion. Come on, I'll show you. Some people cure hiccups by drinking water really fast from a hose. It can get a little messy. I don't care. I will try anything. Daddy turns on the water. Caillou tried to drink from the hose, but most of it sprayed all around. It's not working! Don't worry, Caillou. I've got another cure up my sleeve. The upside-down solution always works. Daddy made Caillou do a handstand so he was upside down. Daddy held Caillou's feet for balance. Hiccups all gone? There's one more thing we can try. Let's go back inside. Everyone gathered in the playroom to find out Daddy's final cure. I've saved the best for last. This is sure to get rid of your hiccups. What is it? You hop from your left foot and rub your head with your right hand, like this. Caillou thought Daddy looked silly hopping around, and so did Mommy and Rosie. <laughs> Caillou really wanted to get rid of his hiccups, so he started hopping too. That's it, Caillou. Hop those hiccups away. Hop, Caillou. Hop. I'm still hiccuping. What if I have them forever? <gasps> and ever and ever. Maybe I'll have to stop making spaghetti dinners. <gasps> but spaghetti's my favorite. And Rosie's. And Daddy's, too. It wasn't the spaghetti that gave me the hiccups. I know it wasn't. And I think they're gone. Listen. Caillou was right. His hiccups had gone away. Perhaps I scared them away by saying I wouldn't make spaghetti anymore. No, I think they went away on their own, just like you said they would. But... Are you really going to stop making spaghetti? Of course not, Caillou. I was just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> it was summer vacation. Caillou and his family were going to the beach. Caillou couldn't wait to see what the ocean was like. Are we there yet? Almost, Caillou. When you can see the ocean, you know we are nearly there. I want to go swimming and build the biggest sandcastle ever! Don't forget about the ice cream. Ice cream was Caillou's favorite. He couldn't wait to taste all the different flavors. Ooh, yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> there it is! I can see the ocean! When they finally arrived, Caillou jumped straight out of the car. He ran down to the beach. It's hot on my toes. Don't worry, Caillou. It's just the heat from the sun warming up the sand. It won't hurt you. Caillou was surprised that the sand was hot, but he enjoyed wiggling his toes in it. Wow, the ocean. The ocean went on forever. It was the biggest thing Caillou had ever seen. Caillou, it's very sunny, and that means we need to put on lots of sunscreen and wear your hat so you don't get burnt. Caillou <laughs> giggled and tried to get away, but Mommy held on tight. She covered him all over with sunscreen. It tickled. Daddy set up the umbrella, and Mommy put Rosie down in the shade. Caillou didn't want to sit around. He wanted to do something fun. Who wants to go swimming? Me, me, me! Caillou took Daddy's hand. Together they ran towards the water. Brr, the water is cold. It's all right once you get used to it. 
Caillou and Daddy were having lots of fun splashing about in the water. Suddenly, a big wave knocked Daddy down. <laughs> Caillou thought Daddy looked funny covered in seaweed. <laughs> then another big wave came and took Caillou by surprise. He didn't like being under the water. Don't worry, Caillou. Let's be careful to not go too deep and watch for the waves coming together, okay? <laughs> hey, you two. Time for lunch. Daddy and Caillou were now very hungry after dodging the waves. Caillou had a sandwich, an apple, and some lemonade for his lunch. Yummy. Caillou picked up his sandwich and took a big bite, but it was full of sand. Ugh! Oh, it's all sandy! I can't eat this! A nearby seagull swooped down and stole the sandy sandwich. Hey, come back! That's mine! Don't worry, Caillou. We can get some ice cream instead. After lunch, Daddy took Caillou to the ice cream shop. There were so many flavors, all different colors. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. I want to try all of them. <laughs> Why don't you choose one flavor for today and then a different one next time? Okay, but how do I choose when there are so many? The friendly ice cream seller let Caillou try a few flavors to make sure he picked his favorite. Mmm, I like that one. Daddy bought four ice creams and they went back to find Mommy and Rosie. Want to show Rosie how to build a sandcastle, Caillou? Caillou was very excited and grabbed a bucket and spade. Look, Rosie, you take the bucket and go like this. Rosie giggled and clapped her hands. Sandcastles were the most fun of all. Wow, that looks great. But no castle is complete without a flag. Suddenly, Caillou felt water splashing against his feet. The ocean had moved closer, and the castle was washing away. Oh no! The waves are ruining my sand castle! How did they get here? Because the tide makes the ocean go higher and lower, so the waves come further up the beach. The tide is coming in now, so that means it's time for us to go home, Caillou. But what about my sand castle? Don't worry. We can come back another day, so you and Rosie can build an even bigger one. Mommy and Daddy gathered up all their things and headed for the car. I want to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. This is the best vacation ever! Caillou and his family had a great day at the beach, but he really couldn't wait for his next adventure. Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? I really, really, really want to go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad, but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! 
The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride. He couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! Bus! Beep! Beep! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. That's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and Daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver, too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful. I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy! Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy! See you soon! Caillou couldn't wait to be older so he could get on the school bus every day. It was a cold, rainy day, and Caillou was playing in his room. Blast off! But Caillou really wanted to go outside. What's wrong, Caillou? I wish the rain would stop so I could go outside and play Space Ranger! Well, why don't you play Space Rangers here in the house? But I don't have a spaceship. You and Rosie could make one out of this old cardboard box. Caillou thought for a moment. He wasn't sure he'd be able to make a spaceship out of a boring old box. I'll go and get some things for you to decorate it with. Caillou couldn't decide whether to make a rocket, a spaceship, or a flying saucer. Rocket! I think you are right, Rosie. Let's make a rocket. Caillou and Rosie splatted paint, stuck down colored paper, and made the old box into the best rocket they had ever seen. You can't go into space without special helmets.
Thanks, Mommy. Now we look like real space rangers. As soon as the paint was dry, it was time to blast off. It's time to go now, Rosie. We have 10 seconds until liftoff. We need to get into the rocket. 10. Wow. 9. Buckle in, Rosie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. 8. All systems are go. 7. Blast off. Soon, they were on a strange alien planet. Wow! We're really in space! Suddenly, Caillou spotted something moving behind a nearby rock. Hello? Who's there? Caillou thought the alien looked familiar, but he couldn't work out who. Hello, I'm Space Ranger Caillou, and this is Rosie. Kitty! <coughs> no, Rosie, that's an alien. Suddenly, the alien jumped forward towards them and grabbed Teddy from Space Ranger Caillou. Teddy! Uh-oh, we have to get him back, Rosie. Come on! Caillou and Rosie ran as fast as they could, but they couldn't catch the alien. Get back here with Teddy! Teddy, come back! I have a plan! We have to get him onto the ship. Rosie! Teddy! The alien ran onto the ship, scared of the heroic space ranger. Caillou's plan had worked. Caillou tried to pull Teddy from the alien's grip, but he held on tight. Give Teddy back! I did it! What are you two doing? I thought you'd be outside now that the rain has stopped. We've been on a space adventure, Daddy. <coughs> Caillou and Rosie had so much fun on their space adventure, they jumped straight back into their ship and blasted off again. It was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you? Hmm, a firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut? No. Have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes. Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy. Abracadabra. Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume and suddenly, she didn't want to dress up and go out. No! 
you don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clone costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door, and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou <laughs> was happy Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's a lot! Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween! <laughs> yeah. It was a bright sunny day, and Caillou was playing in his backyard. Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> Caillou heard someone laughing in the yard next door. There was a little girl he didn't know. Hi, my name is Caillou. Do you want to play with me? Hola, my name is Isabel. See, Caillou? Isabel used strange words. Caillou didn't understand everything she said. My mommy got me some new marbles. Que? Caillou sat down and rolled his marbles out across the grass. You can be the red marbles and I will be the blue ones. Rojo! Caillou hadn't heard that word before. He liked how it sounded. Rojo? When the game was over, Isabel pulled a small white toy bunny from her pocket. Caillou was very curious. Wow! Do you want to be my friend? Isabel smiled and nodded to Caillou. She touched his cheek with Bunny. See, si, but first you have to save me from that scary dragon. Dragon? <laughs> That's Gilbert! No, it's the scary dragon and the treasure. You'll need a sword like mine. Oh. 
Ryu was excited. He knew that together they could defeat any dragon. Charge! Caillou, what are you doing? Me and Princess Isabel are fighting the dragon! Oh, you have so much imagination, Caillou. This is Princess Isabel. She lives in the red castle next door. Well, it's nice to meet you, Isabel. Now come on, Caillou. It's time for dinner, and I think Gilbert needs a rest. At dinner, Caillou told everyone about his adventure with Princess Isabel. And then the dragon roared! Roar! Roar! Caillou, please don't talk with your mouth full. Isabel had a funny word for the marbles. Rojo! <laughs> no, Caillou. Rojo means red in Spanish. She was telling you what the color of the marble was. Why does she speak Spanish? Because Isabel is from Spain. I met her parents today. They're going back home to Spain tomorrow. Spain? Where is that? Well, this is where we are. And this is where Isabel lives. But that's really far away. I don't want her to go. Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to lose his new friend. Don't worry, Caillou. Just because Isabel is going back to Spain doesn't mean you two can't stay friends. Why don't you give her something to remember you by? That gave Caillou an idea. The next day, it was time for Caillou to say goodbye to Isabel. I got you a present, Isabel, so you don't forget me. Rojo! Uh, gracias, Caillou. Bunny will help you beat the dragon. Wow. Adios, Caillou. Adios, Isabel. A few days later, Caillou was finishing off his adventure. But it wasn't as fun without Isabel. I have a special surprise for you on the computer. Caillou was very excited, so he rushed to the computer. But when he got there, the screen was blank. He was very confused. Hola, Caillou! Isabel! Isabel held up the red marble Caillou had given her. And Caillou held up the white bunny she had given to him. He was very happy to see his friend again. Today was Caillou's birthday. Mommy and Daddy decorated the house. The balloons looked so colorful. Caillou was so excited he couldn't wait. He was putting on his favorite shirt. His friends were coming to celebrate with him and his family. Ta-da! <laughs> What's wrong, Caillou? When will Leo and Clementine be here? I don't want them to miss the party. Don't worry. They'll be here soon, Caillou. Caillou and his family were in the living room. Caillou decided he wanted to open Grandma's present first. He had told everyone that he wanted a dinosaur for his birthday. He opened the big box, hoping Grandma's gift would be the dinosaur he wanted. But instead, she had knitted him a sweater. A sweater? Caillou, I told you the presents are for later. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome, Caillou. Suddenly, the doorbell rang and Caillou ran to open it. Who could it be? Clementine! Leo! Caillou was so happy that his friends had finally arrived. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Caillou! Everyone was having so much fun at the party. Clementine and Leo were dancing, but Caillou was more interested in the gifts that they had brought for him. Can we open presents now, Mommy? No, Caillou. It's time to play some games. Everyone had lots of fun playing different party games. Leo is great at pinning the tail on the donkey. Clementine had the winning hit on the piñata. Rosie won past the parcel. 
Caillou was having fun with his friends, but felt sad he hadn't gotten to open the rest of his presents yet. Who wants their face painted? Daddy looked silly with a tiger painted on his face. Me, Daddy! I know exactly what I want to be! Stay still just a little longer, Caillou. I'm almost done. <laughs> it tickles, Daddy. Caillou giggled at the tickly feeling of the brush on his cheeks. He was very curious to see how it was going to look. All done. Caillou went to the mirror to see. He was very impressed. <laughs> he looked just like Gilbert. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> look, Gilbert. Now I'm a cat, too! Meow! Everyone was in the kitchen enjoying all of the delicious treats on the table, but there was something missing. Is everything okay, Caillou? When is my cake coming, Daddy? I want to blow out my candles. Why don't you ask Mommy? Mommy walked through the door with Caillou's birthday cake. It was the most colorful cake Caillou had ever seen. Rainbow! Happy birthday, Caillou! Caillou couldn't wait to blow out his candles. Don't forget to make a wish. Caillou knew exactly what to wish for, a new dinosaur. He took a deep breath and blew out the candles with all his might. Everyone was enjoying Caillou's special rainbow cake. Are you ready to open your present for me and Daddy, Caillou? Caillou unwrapped the box as fast as he could. Wow! My dinosaur! Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. Rosie! Oh no! Look what you've done! It's okay, Caillou. Rosie didn't do it on purpose. You can just put on your new sweater. Grandma held up Caillou's new sweater and it had an amazing dinosaur on the front. My new sweater is so cool! It looks just like my toy! Thank you, Grandma! Caillou thought this was the best birthday ever. Caillou had to get up early today to go somewhere very special. Wake up, Caillou. It's time to go on an amazing adventure. What kind of adventure, Daddy? It's a surprise. What kind of surprise? I can't give away the surprise, Caillou, but it's going to be splashing. Splashing? Caillou heard Grandpa arriving downstairs and couldn't wait to give him a big hug. Grandpa, why are you wearing that funny hat? It's my very special lucky hat, Caillou. Whenever I wear it, it brings me good luck. What makes it lucky? Ah, uh, you'll have to wait and see, Caillou. Caillou had no idea what Grandpa's silly hat was for, but he couldn't wait to find out. Are those fish? Wow! We're going fishing! And you can't go fishing without your very own lucky hat. Caillou was so excited. He felt like a real fisherman. I'm ready. Let's go! Well, hold on now. First, we'll need to buy some food for the fish. Caillou and Grandpa went into a store by the lake called a bait store. It was full of worms and insects. You can buy bugs, Grandpa? Fish love to eat bugs. They go on the fishing line and the fish will swim right over to us. Daddy came back with a bucket full of wiggly worms. Caillou was very surprised. Ew! Worms? Fish love to eat earthworms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. <laughs> The fishermen waited patiently to catch some fish, but Caillou had a hard time staying awake. It was still very early in the morning. When are the fish going to come and eat? Aren't they hungry? Shh! 
We have to be very quiet. If we make any noise, we'll scare the fish away. Caillou tried his best to be quiet. He heard water flowing and the whir of a fishing reel from the fisherman next to them. Look over there! That man caught a fish! Why did he throw the fish back in the water, Daddy? That fish was too small. It wasn't ready to be caught yet. He threw it back so it can grow bigger first. Caillou was getting tired of waiting and having to stay still. Why haven't we caught anything yet, Daddy? Where are all the fish? When you go fishing, you have to be very patient. Like Grandpa. He has a lot of experience. Caillou and Daddy looked at Grandpa. He had fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a break, too? Daddy and Caillou went to see the fishing boats. The fishermen were unloading big crates of fish. What are the fishermen going to do with all those fish? They'll sell them to the grocery store, then people buy them to eat. Caillou really wanted to take a fish home. If we catch a fish, we could have it for dinner. Can we try again? Sure we can, Caillou. Caillou was very determined to catch a fish now. He stayed as still as he could and waited very patiently. You're doing a great job, Caillou. Shh, Daddy. You'll scare the fish away. Suddenly, Caillou felt a tug on his fishing line. Daddy, uh, I've got one. <laughs> Quick, reel it in. Reel it in. Caillou reeled in his line. There was a little fish wriggling on the hook, but it fell back into the water. Oh, no! But I waited and waited! Don't worry, Caillou. You'll have better luck next time. You just have to keep practicing. Caillou was happy that he had gone fishing, even if he hadn't caught anything to bring home. All this fresh air has made me hungry. But we still didn't catch anything. Grandpa had an idea. I know where there are always lots of fish. There's my little fisherman. Wow, that's such a big fish, Caillou. Well done. Where did you catch it? Caillou <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> we caught it at the fish store. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's family was on their way to buy groceries, but Daddy drove right past the grocery store. Caillou was confused. Daddy, you missed the store! We're not going to the store today, Caillou. We're going to go somewhere called a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market, Daddy? It's a place where farmers bring all the things that they grow. Can we buy food there? Yes, lots and lots of food, Caillou. When they arrived, Caillou saw the farmer's market was very different from the grocery store. All of the food was placed on tables with a farmer behind each stall. Where did all this food come from, Daddy? The farmers grow the food at their farms and bring them straight here. It's very fresh. Caillou looked for bananas, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Mommy, where are the bananas? Well, Caillou, all of this food is grown nearby, but bananas only come from very far away. Bananas don't grow here? No, the bananas come from so far away that they need a plane to get all the way to the grocery store. Caillou liked thinking about bananas flying in a plane. <laughs> then Caillou remembered something. Strawberries can grow close to here. I've seen Grandma grow them in her garden. That's right, Caillou. But I don't see any strawberries. That's because it's spring. You can't eat strawberries until they're ripe, and they won't be ready until the summertime. There were more than just fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. They walked past a cheese stand with lots of smelly cheeses. Caillou tried some that was made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. He thought it tasted funny. Ugh. If there's goat's milk, that must mean there's goats nearby, too! 
I think there's one right over there, Caillou. Caillou had never been this close to a goat before. The farmer even let him feed the goat straight from his hand. <gasps> Is that lady a farmer too? Her hat looks silly. She's a different kind of farmer. She raises bees and sells their honey. That hat stops her from getting stung by the bees. Caillou tried some of the honey on a stick. It was delicious. The farmer was so nice, she let Caillou try on her hat. How do I look, Rosie? <laughs> Funny! At another table, Caillou saw some long, skinny vegetables. Mommy, what are those? Those are asparagus. It's a vegetable. Asparagus. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Caillou liked the word so much, he said it over and over. Asparagus. Why don't we buy some? I have a wonderful recipe for asparagus soup. But I need one more vegetable, Caillou. Can you help me? What about those carrots? Ew! They're all covered in mud! That's because they have been pulled straight from the ground this morning, Caillou. Fresh from the farm. At home, Caillou washed the vegetables while Mommy cut them up. Then, they put all the ingredients they had bought in the blender. Would you like to push the button, Caillou? Yes, please! <laughs> At supper time, everyone had a bowl of the soup. Caillou had a taste, but he wasn't sure if he liked it. What do you think, Caillou? It's not as good as spaghetti, but it really was fun choosing all the vegetables. Well, you're going to have to finish your dinner if you want some dessert. Mommy brought out bowls of ice cream drizzled with the honey from the market. Caillou thought it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. Can we go back to the farmer's market again soon? Yes, Caillou. The next one is in the summer, so we can see what's in season then. Maybe they will have some strawberries! Today, Caillou and his mommy were going to do some gardening. What are you looking at, Caillou? There's a caterpillar. It's eating a lot of that big leaf, Mommy. And it's only a tiny caterpillar. Well, it's a tiny caterpillar now, but soon it will be a big, strong butterfly. First, it needs to eat as much as it can. Caillou looked closely at the caterpillar, but it was so tiny, he didn't understand how it could possibly turn into a butterfly. What are you doing, Caillou? Caillou's friend Sarah was peeking at him through a gap in the garden fence. I'm trying to look at this tiny caterpillar, but it's too small. We can use my magnifying glass. What's that? A magnifying glass is something you use to make something small look big. Caillou looked through the magnifying <laughs> glass and laughed. It made Sarah's face look much bigger. <laughs> Caillou liked seeing the caterpillar through the magnifying glass. He could see all its tiny legs moving. I have an idea. Let's play Jungle Explorer. Caillou thought this was a great idea. He got down on his hands and knees and started exploring. Wow! A great big jungle monster! Caillou looked at the huge butterfly. It was so colorful. It's as big as a bird! It must have eaten lots and lots of leaves! Caillou wanted to keep looking at the butterfly, but it flew away. Come back here, butterfly! The jungle is much thicker there. You can't get through it, Caillou. If I can't get through it, I'll go under it. 
Caillou bent down as low as he could and crawled deeper into the garden. Caillou saw the butterfly again in the distance. It was on top of a ferocious lion who was sleeping soundly. I have to be careful not to wake up the sleeping lion. Oh no! The lion woke up with a roar and scared away the butterfly, which flew off deeper into the jungle. The loud rumbling in the sky startled Caillou, and it startled the butterfly, too. What was that? Caillou was very frightened and ran back out of the jungle as fast as he could. Sarah! Sarah! Mommy! Sarah! Did you hear that loud noise? Don't worry, Caillou. It was just thunder. That means it's going to rain soon. But it scared away my butterfly! That's okay, Caillou. Look, the caterpillar from this morning has made a cocoon. Mommy showed Caillou a jar with a cocoon inside. Caillou used the magnifying glass to see it up close. What's a cocoon, Mommy? When a caterpillar makes a cocoon, it means it's turning into a butterfly. Wow! Soon I'll have a butterfly of my very own! Wow, Caillou, that's so cool! Caillou had lots of fun exploring the jungle and looking for butterflies. He couldn't wait for the cocoon to hatch so he could play again. Caillou and his family were on their way to Uncle Felix's farm. Caillou was very excited. I can't wait to see all the farm animals. Moo! <laughs> Quack! <laughs> Caillou gave Uncle Felix a big hug. He was very happy to see him. Howdy, Caillou. Great to finally have you all down on the farm. You ready to see some animals? I can't wait! There were lots of cute, fluffy sheep in the barn. Do you know what sound a sheep makes, Caillou? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> That's right! Uncle Felix and Caillou gave the sheep some grain to eat. That one's so small. Can I touch it? Of course, Caillou, but be careful. It's only a baby. Wow, it's so soft. Next, Caillou saw some cows in the field outside the barn. The cow's nose is wet. Where are all the horses, Uncle Felix? I want to be a cowboy! Uncle Felix walked into the field and whistled. Right away, a horse galloped up to them. This is Harry. Harry the horse! Can I ride him, please? Caillou had never ridden a horse before. He jumped around pretending to be a horse. <laughs> sure you can, buddy. Perched safely on the horse, Caillou felt like a cowboy as Uncle Felix led him and Harry around the field. Yeehaw! Caillou galloped up to the barn. He was still having fun pretending to be a horse. That was such a fun ride! I really like Harry the horse! Caillou heard a funny noise. He wasn't sure what it was. What was that? A mommy pig! Look at all the babies! The pigs were bathing in the mud. Caillou went in to have a closer look. Baby pigs are called piglets. This is so much fun! As Caillou watched, Uncle Felix drove his red tractor. He was sad that he wasn't allowed to try. Why can't I drive the tractor, Mommy? Only grown-up farmers like Uncle Felix can drive tractors, Caillou. Mommy had an idea to cheer Caillou up. 
she pulled his favorite red tractor out of her handbag and handed it to him. Here you go, Caillou. It looks just like Uncle Felix's. Wow, your tractor looks just like mine. You'll be a farmer in no time. Yippee! In the barnyard, Caillou saw some chickens. He tried to catch them. Caillou liked watching the chickens. They pecked at the ground with their pointy beaks. One of them swallowed a worm. Yuck! Want to check the hen house, Caillou? Maybe the hen laid some eggs. Ta-da! Wow, Caillou! Excellent job! You're a great farmer! Caillou had lots of fun at the farm with Uncle Felix. He couldn't wait to come back and see all his animal friends again. <laughs>